Hey guys, so on this week's episode of Make It With Calvin, we're gonna be talking about this gigantic wheel thing with PTFE tubing and a connector and why it's the key to my filament drying system. So, let's talk about it. Okay, so as you guys know, I'm somewhat particular when it comes to keeping my filament dry, especially if it's materials like PETG or nylons or even TPU, both, all three of those and PVA as well while I'm at it, are all extremely moisture sensitive materials and depending upon your applications, moisture setup can be an issue. Heck, even PLA that you're running in a dual extruder setup could become problematic if it has too much moisture and it starts oozing out and creating issues. So with all that being said, let me dive into why that ring thing that I created is so important and what purpose it serves in keeping my filament dry. Okay guys, so here's the 3D design of the dehydrator itself. As you can see, it is relatively simple. We have these two panels that are exactly identical and then we have this guy here which has the uh, fitting for it right there. You can see I've also cut in a thread relief as well. The idea is I know that 3D printed threads are not always the most accurate, so if you have access to a 10 millimeter tap, you can get it in there, and if the tap has a taper on the end, that provides clearance. This is not a part that needs threading all the way down, so that is fine. Now, the other thing that I've done to make this easier to assemble is there's these square locator blocks that go into the middle, and they're designed to be a slightly loose fit, but the idea is it helps you assemble everything that much easier, as well as these outside tabs that help you glue everything in place as well. Now, I understand you could put them on the inside, you could even do without them. It's it's just personal preference having them there because they do actually provide some level of rigidity as well. Now, as for these arms, they seem slightly spindly, but in my experience, they actually were strong enough, but you very well could add another ring in the middle. It's just the idea is I'm trying to keep this as open as possible so that the air can flow around as easily as it can. And also I'm trying to make the amount of support required as minimal as possible. If you really wanted to, you could probably put a sacrificial wall right there that you could remove as well as something there and pretty much eliminate the supports. But in my experience, I found that really wasn't necessary. So that's all design considerations for the future, but that is the overall design of this. It was relatively simple to put together. The only tricky parts were making sure that the parts were big enough and had enough of a tolerance to fit together with um, minimal effort. And in case there were any size variations between dehydrators, you could work around that as well. So to actually build this thing was relatively simple. As you can kind of tell, it is three separate pieces that were glued together. Um, in the center, we have those square locators, which works out good. And then on one side, we have one of these uh, PTC fittings that I just ran a piece of Teflon tubing into. And the advantage of that is I can run the filament straight to the extruder on the machine if I'm using my artillery. I can actually insert that PTFE straight into the um, extruder lever and the filament feeds right into the printer so I don't have to worry about it getting snagged or anything like that. Or if I'm running it on my Hicktop IDEX that I got in, which you'll be seeing more of in the future, I will just run the filament tube over the top of the machine and then just have it resting on the top of the extruder. And whoops, the friction of the filament being pulled through there just keeps it in place. It's not so much to keep the filament dry as it's running into there because I don't think the short amount of time it's sitting out in the environment is really going to affect it, but it's more to prevent jams and snags and things like that. Now, when it comes to how this works in the setup, this is pretty simple and clever. This takes the place of the original trays. So I can keep the original trays that came with the 
dehydrator in case I actually want to use the dehydrator as a dehydrator because personally it seemed kind of stupid to take and hack up perfectly good trays to well dry filament with to me that was stupid so that's what that does now if you guys want to purchase the files to print this or you guys want to purchase the dehydrator that I'm using I will have my Amazon affiliates link for the dehydrator so if you purchase one I get a little bit of a kickback and it helps support the channel or if you want to buy the files for building this I will have those as well up on pin shape for a couple of dollars um, help support the channel and to be perfectly honest this thing took multiple tries to get down right so it was not the easiest thing to put together that said the setup works very well and when it comes to materials if it's something that is somewhat heat sensitive like PLA I'll just crank it up to 45 degrees C which is the minimum if it's PETG I'll crank it up to about 60 and if it's something like nylon I'll crank it up to about 70 C just let it sit there for a couple of hours and then while the printer is running I'll run the dehydrator as well just to make sure it stays nice and dry so I hope that helps you guys um, when it comes to keeping your filament dry obviously everybody has their own opinion on it but for moisture sensitive materials it really 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 helps now what I am planning on doing with this is making at least one more level so I can actively be running two kinds of filament at the same time through the dehydrator setup on a machine which would be great because usually one of them is getting damp because of where I'm at there's a lot of humidity while the other one's being dried and that's just not very efficient so hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you here next time on make it with Calvin